Uh, here is how to use the transparency effect. And what we're going to do, you can see our system right here in our node view. Here's the dog master, which has all the assets inside, and it's peg. What I'm going to go do is go into my node library, and there's a nice little search bar right here. I'm going to type, start typing in transparency, it should come up right away. And what I'll do is I will drag it into my node view and drop it. And there are two ways to add things in the node view. One way is to disconnect the image and attach it to the input node for the effect, and then drag the output node into the composite, and you can see the character is back again. And you can see that he's being affected by that transparency effect. Uh, an easier way, I think, of doing things is to drag it onto the line by holding down your mouse button and to hold alt you'll see the little icon for attaching it and you'll see when you bring it over the line it kind of snaps in the place you can just release your mouse button and the character will be affected you can tell that it's being affected by the blue color and when you un uh, unselect that you can see that he is being affected by the transparency but it looks kind of weird and the reason it looks weird is because we're in OpenGL view we're going to go ahead and switch to the render view and now you can see the character is a little dim here. He's a little darker. That's because our background is black. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my color card and make the background gray. So the transparency tool is really simple. It only has one parameter, and that's the value of the transparency. Now, transparency is different from opacity because opacity is how, uh, how not see-through a character is, basically how solid the character is, whereas transparency is how uh, see-through the character is. So right now we're at 50%, so halfway. So obviously, like I said, transparency is how see-through is. So the higher the number, the more see-through the character is. And likewise, the lower the number, the less see-through the character is. It's the exact opposite of opacity. And like many effects in Toon Boom, this can be animated over time uh, using the value scale and uh, putting it in your timeline with keyframes. And that can change. You won't see the animation in your render view. Uh, it does not do animation. If you wanted to see the animation, you would go to your uh, back to your OpenGL view, and that's how you would be able to see the uh, the movement of the transparency values through the timeline. And that's how you use transparency.